Hey Cancer, how are you doing? This reading is for Cancer for the week of August the 26th to September 1st. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Cancer, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can look at the options there. What is going on for the fabulous and most amazing Cancerians? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the hangman, major arcana for Pisces. What's coming towards you, the nine of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What you are focused on is the eight of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Let me just move these down. I'm not at my usual setup, so bear with me. In your blocked and challenged position is the two of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and your outcome is the king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Okay, Cancer, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. Present time, you have the hangman. And the hangman is about a pause, a breather, taking a rest, a new way of thinking, and a new way of understanding some kind of situation. And this could be the card of waking up or the card of dark night of the soul, like the enlightenment. And to become enlightened is to lighten up. So not take things so seriously or personally, because right now you have the nine of swords that's coming towards you, but in your focus, you have the Eight of Swords, self-imposed prison, stuck, tied, trapped in some kind of situation. And here, thinking and thinking and overthinking and stressing about a person, place, or a situation to the, to the point of procrastination or it's a need for you to get more rest, to get more sleep. Like this is burning unnecessary energy. These thoughts are burning too much energy and here, in your blocked and challenged position, is the two of wands. It's telling you to let go of a situation, like let go of one wand, take this new wand in your hand, you have the world in the palms of your hand, the key inside of you to do whatever the frick you want with a strong, confident backbone. So there is something about a new way of you seeing a situation. It's not ever about another person. It's always about how you're feeling. So there's a need to let go and sacrifice. Whether this is a job situation, it feels like you feel like stuck or there's frustration, feeling like you're walking on eggshells. The Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And the Ten of Cups can be, yes, commitment, or something to do with family. So there could be actually family projecting onto you. And that's a need for you to gain a new perspective here. Like, do I listen to what my mom and dad says I should be doing? Because the Nine of Swords is like the analysis paralysis. It's about thinking something to death to the point where you can't take action. Or you've thought about this situation so many times but this is about sacrificing or letting go of some kind of commitment and to take action. Because the King of Wands is bold, assertive, you know, charismatic, charming, taking action, marching to the beat of your own drum. And it, it kind of has this energy of needing to ex um, exude, exude this confidence. So something about a Ten of Cups, this could be between you and a family member. This could be between like, oh, I've been in this job situation for this long. I, I don't know if I can do anything else. Yeah, you can. Because in, in your blocked and challenged position, it's telling you to pick a new path, make a new plan. But there's something about this thought pattern. So you have what you thought about yesterday sets you up for today. And what you think about today sets up your tomorrow. Right here, the hangman, a new way of thinking and a new way of understanding of what 10 of cups looks like to you. Whatever that 10 of cups is, 
It could be a relationship. It could be, you know, a job situation. Because there's something that's stagnating your growth. And we always think, well, I'll just blame this situation because that will make me feel better. But we have to change it and be like, what am I stagnating in my own life that I'm not growing and that I should be pursuing? And that nine of swords is, what if people laugh at me? But what if people think that I'm silly? You know, all these things, again, it's stemming from your past. And the queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Wow. And the queen of cups right there, gentle, kind, caring, devoted, hardworking, and um, like an empath, very soft and warm healing energy. Could be like a counselor, a therapist, a doctor. And maybe you do need somebody who is like unbiased or not biased to talk to. That is not your friends, family, anybody. But Queen of Cups, it's like your intuition is trying to pull you in a direction and you're allowing these swords to get the best of you. Queen of Cups also gets a bad rep for people pleasing, making everyone around you happy. And then at the end of the day, you're like, well, why didn't I get my Ten of Cups? Nine of Swords and Eight of Swords is also thinking a lot, but not expressing, expressing your needs. Going back to the hangman, a new way of thinking and a new way of understanding of commitment, whatever this commitment is. Let's see what this Eight of Swords is. Take the blindfold off, get brutally honest with yourself and just ask yourself, is this working for me? Or am I stagnating my own growth, hanging on to a job situation or a relationship and you're like yeah but it, you know this is my family I got to be loyal to them be loyal to people who are actually filling up your cup not taking from you people pleaser mentality leads to detriment of your health because people who takers don't know when to stop taking they will constantly take And the Ten of Swords. Wow, you have the Eight, Nine, and Ten of Swords. Stick a fork in it. I'm done here. This is an impasse. And it's like either you don't want to look at it or another person. Because right here, this Two of Wands, if you're looking at this Two of Wands here, see how this person is looking backwards? So this is a need to go forward with the situation. Don't look at your past. Your past is irrelevant, but change is inevitable. So here, with that two of wands, let go of something that you're trying to grip and hold on to, an old belief, an old thought pattern, and whatever is keeping you stuck from something you truly want. And it is, it's just your thoughts. This is like frustration, anxiety, and feeling like you're stuck in a nightmare. So that 10 of swords is like, I'm done here. It's defeated, depleted. And you can easily burn your own energy and feel so depleted as a person. But really, it's just your environment. It's who you're hanging around with that's depleting you. So let's see what this two of wands is in your blocked and challenged position. So it's like you want to go forward with something, but you're still trying to make a plan. But again, just watch the overthinking or over processing something. And the ace of pentacles. Wow. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy right there. So there could be some kind of financial ties or inheritance. 
This can also be if your money is tied up like in an investment. So like if you're selling home and you're like, oh, I'm just like waiting here, waiting to sell this, could be a business. But this is a new beginning, new opportunity, new possibility, a new pathway opening up for you here, Cancer. This is, you know, a gift from the divine. It's tangible. It's something you can taste, touch, and feel and get your hands on it. This is a new seed for you to plant. But it's still a need for you to plant this seed in good soil and to nurture it and water your garden. I feel like you need to attend to your own garden right now. Stop looking at other people's gardens and attend to your own. And focus more on your health right now. This could be something about your mental health here. Like this could be a job that's completely burning you out. And again, it's like, this is new house, new job, new commitment, new career path. But you still have your back turned because you're still looking at the past. So in needing to shift your focus forward here with the hangman, in your outcome, the king of wands. This is about being brave, being bold, taking action, asserting oneself. This speaks of charisma. That can also be your new boss. Or it's somebody who motivates and inspires you. So if anybody has really good energy and, you know, they light up the room, be around those types of people. So let's see what this King of Wands is. It speaks of enthusiasm, you know, creativity, passion, hardworking. Wow. And the nine of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And the nine of pentacles is about knowing your worth, knowing your value internally, externally, looking freaking fabulous, doing something nice for yourself. This is about placing healthy boundaries. And for you, um, with this Nine of Pentacles, there could be somebody who wants to be single or do something solo, entrepreneurship, business owner. This can also be somebody who you come across. So let's just say if you're applying somewhere new or there's like a new development. So this person is, you know, abundant, hardworking, loyal, looks good, smells good, but it could also be you, or this is like a great opportunity, a great investment, but it's only when you put something to end. This is about being financially independent and not codependent on another person. That can also be somebody who is financially independent and they are not codependent on other people. Therefore, this person will not drain you but you still need to turn around and see that you still have more to look forward to in the future. Don't worry about what happened yesterday here. There's something that's still like hung up though. Whether this is like some kind of contract or you're selling a business or there's just something like there's money tied up. Be the real you. Freedom, authenticity, uniqueness, and courage. And number 15 is the devil in tarot. And as you can see, this person was wearing a mask. But this can also be you here, Cancer, where you need to strip down and show people the real you. So this could be like sitting in a job and maybe it's your nine to five job and that's who you were. But really, your true passion is doing something else. And then again, you're overthinking it to death where it's actually draining you as a person. So your thoughts can drain the heck out of you, but this is about freedom, authenticity, uniqueness, and courage. It's gonna take all your bravery, confidence, and power to do what it is that you wanna do, okay? And is it comfortable? No, growth spurts are not comfortable but they are rewarding. And here, 
the devil energy can be illusion, fantasy, distortion. It's low vibrational energy. It could be jealousy. It could be, you know, family things, situations. Self-employment. Commitment, resourcefulness, confidence, and rewarding. I just said that. See how you got the golden wings there? But it also could be like a golden opportunity for you to do it. But you have to give yourself permission and stop dragging your feet of like, can I commit to this? What about my family? So like I said, if you have like an online like counselor, a therapist, um, wellness, um, holistic something, put it out there into the world. People can benefit from you, but this can also be talking to somebody who's non-biased, right? Somebody who's just there to listen here. Self-respect and worthiness. So something about your self-confidence and self-worth, right? So something is draining your energy. Maybe it makes good money, but it's not fulfilling you. Angel, leader, brilliance, confidence, worthy, beauty, loved, queen, superstar, self-worth, affirmation, independence, and motivated. Independence is so super duper sexy. Codependency and relying on others or validation and approval that you're good enough from other people is insecurity in low vibrational energy. And right here it says insecurity, critical, codependence, and indifference. Yeah, so you know, your family might be disagreeing with you and saying, oh, you know, you can't do that job or you can't move and relocate on your own or it's just something about it. But self-respect and worthiness, self-employment, be the real you. So take off this blindfold. Stop lying to yourself that this is who I am. Okay? It's like there's something about a new you. Developing the new you. Bird perched. Waiting for news, package, or a letter. Yeah, there could be something about the hang up or the snag. Like you're waiting for some kind of situation or maybe it's about you handing in your resignation and saying like, you know, you've been, <laughs> you've been swirling the, around this in your brain, but you know what to do. Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. And that's about the scattered energy. So it's about just, not having some kind of crystal clear kind of direction of what is cancer doing. It's never about other people. What is cancer doing today for yourself? This is what you have to ask yourself. And if you have somebody who's indecisiveness, indecisive and allowing their life to ramble aimlessly, don't put your life on hold thinking that this person is going to commit to you, okay? Or that things are going to get better. Oh, that's the illusion, right? Hat, you'll be playing a different role. Maybe that, that's what you're stressing about. There's an offer here on the table, right? And here, it could be leveling up your finances or making a bigger commitment. And you're already stressing about some kind of job. Like it's almost like you're feeling new boots. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. Arcway, new opportunities, possibilities, and pathways opening up. Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. Woman, dealings or relationship with a woman. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards right there. You'll be playing a different role. And it says dealings or relationship with a woman. This woman could be a controlling boss. It could be your controlling sister. It could be a controlling mom. 
There also could be somebody who is like, yeah, you know, you should really stay in this job. This job is going so well, but do not be tempted to lower your standards and you'll be playing a different role. And then heart, love, deep affection and caring and jug lighthearted, carefree times. So there could be a nice invitation to go somewhere and it's like a need for you here, Cancer, to get out of some kind of routine. It feels like it's redundant, like something has become mundane over and over and over again. And like I said, the thoughts you thought about yesterday, you're going to think about today, but you can break this pattern and cycle. It's a new way of understanding and thinking about who you are as a person. Who am I today? What am I going to do today? Do something differently. Challenge yourself. Put, be brave, be bold, be beautiful, take action. You've got this. New opportunities and possibilities are opening up for you. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. And Cancer, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can check out the options from there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.